Hi everyone, welcome back to C programming tutorial series. In today's video, we are going to discuss about writing a C program to make the sum of every row of a 3 cross 3 matrix. So before coming to today's topic, I just want to tell you guys that if you guys like this video or if you guys have got some useful and valuable information from this video, then click on like button, share it with your friends, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and if you guys have any questions, then let me know in the comment section. Now let us start our discussion. Let me first show you the output of this program. So here you can see I have written down the output of this program. So with the help of this output, we will just try to understand how many variables are required for us to write this program and we will also discuss uh, what is the logic behind uh, getting the output for this program. So the, when the program gets executed, it asks user to enter the order of the matrix. Then I will enter 3. That means I want to create a matrix with three rows and three columns. Next, it asks user to enter the elements of the matrix. That means you need to enter nine elements. Once user enter nine elements, then it will show you the output like this: sum of row one six. That means the elements of the first row gets added, and you will get the output as six. Next, sum of row two fifteen. Sum of row three twenty four. So now I want this program to show this output so how we can get this output so to get this output we just first need to declare few variables we should know what variables to be required now just by looking at this output uh, I can clearly say since I'm asking user to enter the order so I should store this value inside some variable n of type integer and I'm also accepting few numbers from the user and I'm storing these numbers inside an array. That's why I need to create an array of type integer 3, 3. Since I'm using 3 cross 3 matrix, that's why I have set the row to 3 and column to 3, 3 cross 3 matrix. And apart from an array, I want few other variables like i and j which will help me to iterate over each and every element of this matrix and finally i want sum and i need to set this to zero initial value okay, so this program is very simple you just need to start the iteration from the very first element of the matrix and then you need to move to the second then move to the third and once you complete visiting the third item of the matrix you need to print the sum of these three items then you need to move to the fourth item then fifth item and then sixth item and once you visit complete visiting the sixth item at that time you need to print the sum of these three elements of the second row and like this you need to do for the third row so how we can visit elements of first row and then print then visit elements of second row and then print like this how we can do that okay so first what we can do is suppose this value 0 index 0 is i and in this 0 is j and this is i and this is j and then i j okay so how we can add the elements of every row of a matrix and display the sum individually or separately so to get this output we should use two for loops first is i loop which start from 0 to n and then i plus plus and then second loop is j which starts from 0 till n j plus plus okay next when i value is 0 j value is 0 that means i am referring to this item 1 i0 j0 so what i will do i will just add sum equals to sum plus array of i j sum value is 0 0 plus array of i j i is 0 j is 0 so array of 0 0 0 0 which means this item so sum 0 plus 1 0 plus 1 and i will get 1 next j value gets incremented by 1 now j becomes 1 
and i will be 0 as it is so for the value of i equals to 0 now j becomes 1 0 comma 1 0 comma 1 is this item next sum is 1 1 plus array of 0 comma 1 okay this equals to 1 plus array of 0 comma 1 0 comma 1 is this item 2 now i will get 3 sum as 3 next again j gets incremented by 1 now j becomes 2 so for the value of j equals to 2 here condition gets checked 2 is less than 3 yes condition becomes true that's why control will come inside this inner for loop so for the value of i equals to 0 now j becomes 2 0 comma 2 that means this item gets accessed and now this expression gets evaluated sum was 3 3 plus array of 0 comma 2, 0 comma 2 which means this item so 3 plus 3 6 and we have got sum as 6 now at this particular point here bracket here bracket and then here and then here okay now again the value of j gets incremented by 1 now j becomes 3 again the condition checked here for the value of j equals to 3 3 is less than 3? No. Condition didn't get satisfied. That's why control will come out from the for loop to increment the value of i from 0 to 1. Now, before incrementing the value of i from 0 to 1, it will print sum. Print sum. And what was the value of sum? Sum was 6. That's why sum of row 1. Sum of row 1 is equals to 6. The value of sum is 6. After doing 3 iterations for the value of i equals to 0, we are printing the sum of first row. Now next is control will come to the i loop again where the i value gets incremented by 1. Now for the value of i equals to 1, j again gets executed 3 times for the value of j equals to 0, 1 and 2. So, i equals to 1, j equals to 0. That means this item, 1 comma 0. So, sum, yes, we need to set sum equals to 0 here. We need to set sum equals to 0 here at this point because after executing j loop for 3 times, control will come to the i loop. At that time, we need to reset the value of sum again to 0 so that we can make the addition of these three elements which are there in the second row okay so for that purpose you need to set the value of sum equals to 0 now i is i is 0 sorry i is 1 j is 0 that means this item 4 okay so sum here sum is 0 0 plus array of 1 comma 0 that means 4 1 uh, 0 plus 4 means we will get 0 plus 4 we will get 4 okay next j gets incremented by 1 now j becomes 1 for the value of 1 i equals to 1 j becomes 1 so 1 comma 1 1 comma 1 so this is the item which is stored inside the 1 comma 1 location so 5 comes in the expression so sum plus array of 1 comma 1 sum is 4 4 plus 5 now sum equals to 4 plus 5 and will become we have got 9 as the output. Next, j gets incremented by 1. j becomes 2. So, for the value of j equals to 2, i is 1, 1 comma 2. This is 1 comma 2, 6. So, 9. Sum, if sum plus array of 1 comma 2. Sum is 9, 9 plus 6. And we will get 15. Now, you can see 15. Now, again j gets incremented by 1. Now, j value becomes 3. Here condition gets checked. 3 is less than 3? No. Condition becomes false. That's why control will come out from the for loop. But before coming out from the inner for loop, it will print the value of sum, which is 15. Now that's why you will get sum of row 2 is 15. Okay. So like this, the same process gets takes place for making the addition of the each and every element of the third row and you will get the output as 24 okay so i hope this logic gets clear to you so i will just use this logic uh, to write the c program now we need to declare these variables we'll leave some as it is 
and we need to print that message enter the order and we need to accept that input percent d ampersand n and we need to display this message enter elements and i need to accept these nine elements and store these nine elements in the form of a matrix close the bracket close the bracket okay now i need to use this close the bracket okay and return zero okay so this is how you can make the addition of elements of each and every row and display the output in this manner similarly you can make the addition of all the elements of each and every column like 1 plus 4 plus 7 then 2 plus 5 plus 8 3 plus 6 plus 9 so for that what you can do is you just need to make only one change in this logic so instead of array of i j you just need to change it to array of j and i okay if you did that then you will notice that your program will return you the output where it has made the sum of each and every elements of every column so that one change you need to make in your program if you want to make the sum of each and every column so that's all for this video guys i hope you guys like this video i hope you guys have got some useful and valuable information from this video if you guys like this video click on like button share it with your friends don't forget to subscribe to this channel and if you guys have any questions then let me know in the comment section and thanks for watching